Wallflower describes social anxiety, but it also describes mainly my brain and how manic it can get at times um, because there's constant noise in my head. There is constant um, like talking or songs or singing. There is always something there and I think that that's where I get most of my creativity is because God puts all of these amazing thoughts into my brain and he just doesn't well, he probably realizes it, but at the same time, I'm, I can't grasp it all at one shot because it's so much incredible information that he gives me to work with. So, in Wallflower, I wanted to describe how sometimes when you're in a crowded room full of people, you just shut down. You don't you can't respond to anything that's going on you can't really like focus but you hear everything and you see everything all at one shot you just can't respond to it all and I felt really bad because there was a situation where there was this guy that I really liked and he was at this party and he was talking to me and he was having a great conversation with himself because I couldn't respond. And he probably thought that I hated him. But it was just one of those things where I couldn't focus, I couldn't speak. So I went home and I wrote this song so that him and everybody else that sees me at social gatherings knows what's going on in my head and why I can't focus. So. I don't know, I don't know if anybody relates to that or not, but I hope you guys do, and, well no, I don't hope you do, but I hope that if you are the same way I am, it helps you to know that you're not alone, and that we all sort of have crazy brains. <laughs> I kinda like it this way.